it's really hard to talk about why something is funny. It's actually impossible. That's science. I resent Audible for putting me through this hellish experience. All right. So you want me you want me to be funny now? <laughs> I would just, yeah, commit and say, you heard me, I f***ing love you, and then hang up. Turn it around, say, I love you, we work great together, but it can't be more than that. For this one, I would just say, and now you say it. I want to hear you say it. Find the truth in comedy, right? What, why are you late? Dig into it. You know, let's say you had diarrhea. Say, hey, sorry I'm late, I had diarrhea. And that's it. And diarrhea is just a funny word to say. I think people don't want diarrhea or poop to be funny, but time and time again, we keep being proved, it, it just, it's always funny. It's never not funny. Just to say poo poo, that's funny. Say poo poo, say sorry I'm late, I had a lot of poo poo. be like, whose kid is that? Anybody know who that is? And just pretend that you don't know who this person is and start talking to the other parents there. It's like, is that your kid? Like, he's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have a really stupid one for this. You point at your kid and you say, I'll have what he's having. Oftentimes, the stupider the response, the better. Especially if it kind of makes no sense, but kind of also makes sense. You say, wow, you look great. You really, you look, you look beautiful. Again, here we go, lean in. Say, oh good, I'm glad you're here. This is gonna be a two person job. So for this one, I would say, well, the joke's on you because I drool when I'm awake. You are welcome to stay, but um, you will get wet. Honestly, in this situation, I would just stay silent. Yeah, why? you said goodbye. You don't need to say anything. I think the silence is what makes it funny. And if they want to talk, don't let them. Just go, Shh. we already said goodbye. This happens all the time. I think you just need to be bold and do something different. Just act like you didn't just hang out with them and say, oh my God, hey, you want to hang out? Something I like to say when this happens, and it happens a lot, is, uh, you know, oh yeah, the bank does this sometimes when, when I have too much money. They're like, wait, did, are you sure you don't want to spend more because you have so much? So they'll decline it and then offer, offer that I spend more money. Bring them in, commit to the hug, obviously. Squeeze them, put your lips right up to their ear and whisper, you're so much better than just a handshake person. Please. For this one, you know, let's keep it physical. I just say, like, let's meet in the middle, chest bump. Let's chest bump, you know? Yeah, this sucks. <laughs> Best response in this situation is, do you want to just switch to text? I f hate this. This happens to me all the time. Normally what I do is get really exhausted, really worked up, and just tell them, I can't do this with you anymore. It's not healthy for me at this point. Boundaries are really important when you can't hear someone. What advice would I have for someone trying to create their own jokes? I think I have kind of like three buckets of, of strategy, I would say. One is just lean into the awkwardness. Bucket number two is just be really aggressive to uh, the person. And then hopefully that will get to a, li a little bit of like nervous laughter into actual uh, laughter. And I think bucket number three is just straight up lying. Lying equals jokes. My reaction, my impulse is to just always kind of lean in and really just run with it and maybe even make it more embarrassing. Be the butt of your own joke, it's okay. I'm funniest and I'm best at disarming a situation 
when I am kind of outside of myself. As long as you, I don't know, create an environment of being okay with what you've just done, then everyone around you will feel okay with it. And comedy is a great way to do that. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out all of the incredible comedy content that's on Audible right now. And make sure to describe. <laughs> make sure to describe, please. Make sure to subscribe.